The anti-O movement. That's right, we're talking about the Onision haters. Uh, so many of you guys are claiming that you're going to be stealing my interview and you're gonna be uploading it so people can watch it and I don't get the view and, and all that. And I'm just, I am baffled by all this because like you're publicly saying that you're gonna do it. You have pictures on your Twitter. Like we know who you are. Like in a court of law, all right, you are finished. There's, you can't even make an argument for fair use because you're publicly tweeting what you're going to do. You're gonna steal my copyright, my, my material, and, and post it to take views and income away from me. You're literally admitting to the damages that you are going to cause me. I, it's just, it's, it's a no brainer. Like you lose, there's no way you win. This, this person's like, oh, but I live in Canada, so he can't do anything. So? I got attorneys in Canada. Are you insane? You guys know nothing about me, all right? You know nothing about my history. You know nothing about my associates. You know nothing about how much I'm worth, <laughs> who I deal with. Like, I think that Onision might be guilty, all right? But he's probably not gonna get arrested. And when he doesn't get arrested, I think at some point he is going to turn into a hero and he's going to get fans again. And the reason why I think this is because of the overreach of the anti-O movement. You are creating Onision to have sympathy and to become a victim because you're overstepping. The only way that doesn't happen is if he actually gets arrested, if he's found guilty of a crime, which I don't think is going to happen. You guys are messing up big time. If you want Onision to go down, then you gotta treat all this fair. The minute you don't, you're turning him into a victim. And that's facts. I've done this for a long time. I understand drama more than anyone.